All right. First, you can start by telling me your name. Yeah, my name is Chamba, mm -hmm. and I'm from Salvador, by the way. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. Let's do the question. Okay. Again, tell me. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Me. Yeah, I just start saying the, my name and I'm from Salvador, mm -hmm. but I'm artisan. I work with jewelry and handmade craft with uh, metals, mm -hmm. bronze, brass, copper, silver, sterling steel. And I mix all that with the different techniques and mm -hmm. metal. This is one of my yeah. works. Oh, it's this so pretty. This Star Ruby. Mm -hmm. No, no, bro, right. This is kind of more or less what I do now. What is my art? Mm -hmm. you know? I travel around the world selling my jewelry since 17 years ago, something like that. Wow. When I was 20, I'm 37 now. Wow. And man, I decided to <laughs> start to travel and make jewelry be uh, like life. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's like that's my my thing now. Yeah. It's not just because I cannot get another job or something like that. I decide to live my life in this way. Mm -hmm. yeah. was, because I am an electricity man, like, uh, like, yeah. What was your favorite country to sell jewelry the in? The next one. The next one? <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's like I keep traveling. It's yeah. Like, it's a nice. Oh, okay, okay. That's yeah, a good way to look at favorite? it. <laughs> the next one, next one. Give me one more. <laughs> I yeah. hope the next one is great. But I really love Denmark. I mean, it's like, uh, Denmark is one of my favorite. And mm. when I go for festivals, like a side mm -hmm. trans festival, big ones, like a soda festival, boom festival, master of pop it. Then I can say it's, uh, Hungary is one of my favorite ones mm. because it's good for me to to make money yeah. and then I can enjoy the, the place I mean, yeah. yeah can I say that more or less, yeah yeah, and yeah from Latin America I love Uruguay which one Uruguay oh okay Uruguay is one of my favorite countries also Bolivia oh. and Uruguay is awesome okay good to know um when did you get into art or making jewelry like I said, was when I was 20, I have a really big accident in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. I'm Salvadorian, like I said. Mm -hmm. So I just quit with my normal job with electricity. Mm -hmm. And then I am uh, I'm start doing jewelry and yeah. juggling. Sometimes in the light stop, sometimes in you know, mm -hmm. presentations with fire and without fire. So I'm start to roll in this life and this wow. way, uh, making uh, jewelry mm -hmm. and juggling. Do you do the juggling here at all? No, that much, no anymore. No. I prefer, I just turn to the jewelry because it's easy for me to travel with just my tools yeah. and material. Then if I have to carry around with the juggling yeah. and all the things I use for that, yeah. you know, costumes and yeah. yeah. So I, see, I just decide for one. Mm -hmm. But if I go into the festivals, I play with the fire, okay. the fire dancing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Very cool. Um, who has influenced your art in the past? In fact, the first person, the one who introduced me to the metal world is a guy from California. Oh. Daniel. I remember Daniel. His <laughs> wife was uh, Louis and Sammy. Mm -hmm. I remember he always write Alice. D. Oh, yeah, I see. Sammy and, and, and yeah. <laughs> it was really good. Nice. Man, met this guy was awesome. He made <laughs> their own clothes, and they was kind of and yeah, and the, the, the way I am now. Mm -hmm. And I was twenty, a little bit less maybe, and they was more grown up. They was traveling for Central America. She was pregnant, and the kid had uh, around five, six years old. He was not in school, normal school. Yeah. So the guy get a lot of inspiration for that because man, they say they show me and teach me one way to live the life, and then I never saw it. Yeah. So that was the. How did you meet them? I was in El Salvador in Central America, in the capital in San Salvador. I'm starting to make a little bit of jewelry, but with string like macrame. Mm -hmm. And then he asked me to make a, um, a decoration for one of the, her dreads. And he says, I don't have money. I will not pay you with money, but I will give you some material for your jewelry. Oh. And then he says, where are you going to sleep? And he says, I have a place now. But man, do you have a pregnant girl and your son? I said, no worry. We always found oh, I said, okay, so awesome. let's okay, let's go to my place. I said, you see? <laughs> it <laughs> worked out great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, so we went there and he started to produce in the night to mm -hmm. make some earrings and I, I really liked him and said, man, this can sell good. And I, I proposed him, I go out and sell them, 
and we split in the half and yeah 50 50 mm -hmm. and it's okay he make 20 pairs of earrings i went the next morning to the mall near to the mall mm -hmm. i sell them all in two hours something like that so i come wow. back with the money and i give him the money and i said to him man make 20 more yeah and we make more money <laughs> and he said no 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 it's not that the way i just work for myself so yeah. if you want take your money buy some tools and i teach you and that Oh, that was the seed. That's like, so awesome, though. And then yeah. flowers and everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then here we are. <laughs> and here we are in Christiania, yeah. Denmark. Oh, and a really, that's an awesome it's story. like an old. Mm -hmm. And this place, I love this place. This yeah. is one of my favorite places in the world. Yeah. So because it's, I don't know. It's unlike anything. I else. am myself in any place I'm step. It's I am myself mm -hmm. and the way I am and I look and yeah. I dress like I want. Doesn't matter. But here is more cozy, it's more home for yeah. me. It's like a real alternative, hippie and mm -hmm. happy. Yes. Weed I everywhere. Agree. <laughs> green everywhere. Yeah. Music, artists, mm -hmm. graffitis, artisans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, everything. Yeah. It's, it's got everything. It's, yeah, for me, it's, it's in the middle of the city, but it's not a big city. Yeah. But it's still a city, a capital. Exactly. So it's money rolling, art rolling, mm -hmm. and you are in just in the middle. Yeah. I mean, it's like, for me, it's, it's perfect. And yeah. I do this kind of, I come here just for summer. That was yeah. The question. <laughs> okay, yes, but as, as you, you told have more me. questions? Yes. Um, do you have any current influences for your art? I don't really get that question. Uh, is there anything currently that's influencing how you produce art or the style of your art? Giger. Oh. Do you know Giger? Mm -mm. The one who created Aliens and Predator. Okay. I think I think it was, yeah, in the beginning I see this guy and the, the things he produced, it was like it gave me inspiration and some like, oh my God, that is amazing. Yeah. And I started to create all these oh. uh, tunnels uh -huh. and yeah. It's really cool. But this technique is, and the effect is from States. It's uh, Wide oh. Rapid is from States. Oh, but mix it okay. with this guy and my yeah. brain and yeah, yeah, and you get your the own material style. I couldn't get. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like a, it's really cool. Yeah. Okay. And how would you describe your art? My art. Yes. Flexible. Flexible. <laughs> because the metal yeah. is flexible. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good answer. Also, also because if uh, if I'm traveling in Brazil and I biking in the road and I found. A dead animal. I just take some pieces by a dead bird. I take some feathers and I create mm -hmm. something from there. So if I go more deep in the jungle and mm -hmm. I only have seeds, yeah. I will create this with seeds. Oh, so then cool. if I go to Uruguay from the mines, so if I go into India, it's a lot of minerals and stones yeah. there. So I turn it more into wow. that, but always with metal. Yes. Okay. So the material can be anywhere. Yeah. Anything. Okay. That's Here really in Denmark. Cool. You see everything around? Yeah. Uh, Flingstone, you know the cartoon Flingstone? Yeah, yeah. But the Flingstone yeah. come from this. Oh. This is a Flingstone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this is really from here, from Denmark. Oh, okay. This is a good souvenir. I mean, this is artistic. Now, <laughs> by the way, you know, we can create something. <laughs> that is. You can make it in something. Yeah. It is, you know, so. So really you from use Denmark. this a lot in your work? Stone? What? You said this one? Yeah, do you use it in your work? No, this one I don't try yet, but I think I have a good idea now. Yeah, Thanks. <laughs> Almost, yeah. you're welcome. <laughs> but yeah, you know, this is uh, the way I get the material. It's, it's yeah. always flexible. It's like, yeah, yeah, just wherever you we'll are. We'll turn in the, in the way we need, mm -hmm. then the time, and yeah. where we are, and what like, yeah. we can find. And the price is also it's up and down. I mean, mm -hmm. like, I can propose a price, but maybe if I need to buy more material or a ticket or whatever, and I need to collect money, I will put my price down or up. Mm -hmm. Depends. It's like flexible also. Yeah, prices. yeah. Okay. Yeah, and every piece is unique because mm -hmm. it's like this. I find only one of those, and yeah, then you know, like one create. stone. Yep. Yeah. Show your ring. Yeah. I will. I will at the end. Yeah, 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 Don't yeah. worry. Cool, cool. <laughs> it will make it in there. So yeah. Okay. Do you? Uh, do you live in Christiana? Uh, not really, because it's really hard to get a, a place in, inside to Christiania oh, okay. because they just... It's like an air and sea, you know, it's not... You can buy the land or sell the land. It's you give to the... To your, 
mm -hmm. messages, something like that. Like you pass it on? Yeah, 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 they yeah, pass okay. it on. So friends or family, oh. but it's not you can buy it. Sometimes okay. you can rent it, but it's really hard. I mean, it's a lot of people, a lot of families and a lot of the yeah. people, the one who live here since yeah, many yeah. years. So they wait into for a place and mm -hmm. yeah. it's okay. just really hard to. Yeah, okay. I make good friends and I can keep my things in some yeah. of my friends' houses when I come for summers. So I can save so a backpack fine. or mm -hmm. um, some of them borrow me a little garden to put the tents. Maybe yeah. one yeah. day if I want to stay here, but I used to live outside. Okay, got it. It's really hard. Um, what is it like running a business in Cristiana? Awesome. I love awesome. it. Look, look at me in the sun yeah. shining. <laughs> I I, I don't <laughs> drink in alcohol now, but it's really easy to come and sit down, make mm -hmm. you be you, the business role and drink a yeah. beer and enjoy the summer and yeah. meet people, uh, beautiful people around the whole yeah. time. Because this place brings in a different energy, the different mm -hmm. people, artists and hippies. Yes. <laughs> what can I say? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a good word. <laughs> so yeah, people come with a different vibes, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's not, they come to buy weed and hash. Yeah. This kind of people I love. It's a good day to sell hard drugs here yeah the hard drugs are not allowed right so if you stay in the place with this kind of people you start to buy from the same vibration mm -hmm. if you go for hard drugs things outside changes yeah so uh, i'm trying to do you guys have to close at a certain time or is it kind of just whenever you want to no we can start since 10 a.m to 8 p.m 10 a.m okay at that time yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and oh. we have to pay to set up an a amount, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. every day, every time you want to come and sit up. Uh, and one of the rules is have to be handmade by your own. Oh, okay. Yeah, but this area here is sail line. Yeah. yeah. We produce all the art who is in uh, front of us. Mm -hmm. the table. Very yeah. cool. What about selling uh, hash or weed? Do they need to pay to have a stall? Wow, is that I don't have any information. About okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not sure because I don't involve that yeah. much with this dealers. You know? Yeah, yeah. The butcher streets have their own rules also. Yeah. Their own stands and their own all boss. Yeah, yeah. There's only one boss for a few ones and they all one for the ones. Wow. Like, uh, uh -huh. they are organized. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But it's not legal. Yeah, that's. So it's not, yeah, sell and buy is not legal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I yeah. saw yesterday there was the. Yesterday, Police cops raid. come and yeah. take two or three of the guys' clothes. They own build all the things they put to, to make. Yeah, it. I saw that. So, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that was. I hadn't seen that before. It's funny sometimes. Yeah, it's, everything is free. It's a free town, yeah. but sometimes not that free. But, mm -hmm. mm, you know. Yeah, you know. yeah. Um, how did you start working in Christiana? I have a son, ten mm -hmm. years old, kid, and I met this girl. Sally's her name is also mm -hmm. one of the artisans in, mm -hmm. in the line. And the Salvador in El Tunco is a really touristic beach because it's good for surf. I was living there and mm -hmm. she passed by, so we met and we started to travel to South America together. Oh, wow. And then mm -hmm. she started to make jewelry and, and she says, Man, I think it's a good idea if you come to them to sell because it's a summertime, almost summertime now, and then it's a place, Senia. And you can, you will fix that. I mean, yeah. you, you just, you're gonna like you, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You belong there, she <laughs> said. So I started to see some videos. That was 2010. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I said, wow, this look pretty much like well, I want to go and meet it. So yeah. I arrived, and then first summer was 2011. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, 2011, and then, yeah, everything yeah. started to grow, and I mm -hmm. had a good summertime, and then I realized that. I just run away from the from the winter <laughs> yeah. in South America. What I want, so I jump. Yeah. Spring, summer, spring, summer. Smart. Spring, I summer, really want to do that. It's a smart Your idea. Time. I know. At some point, I will do that. Um, what do artists do with their booths or stalls in the winter? Do they still continue to sell? We or run you... away. Yeah. Okay. So most people. Most of the guys. Yeah. We run away. Some yeah. of some of us stay. But it's, if we are 10 now, maybe two stay and mm -hmm. eight go for more warmer places. Yeah, and then come back again in the and summer. And come back when it's not that cold because here you reach a negative 15 degrees and it's not nice yeah. to be in the street. No. So uh, if you have an art, uh, art gallery, mm -hmm. maybe you can do it. Or if you have a small store, it's awesome to keep selling the art. But straight in the street, uh, 
weather condition is not possible. Yeah, it's no. like it's minor, it's just too much <laughs> yeah. uh, no, or too little. I don't know if you'd get a lot of business either. <laughs> no, yeah, for sure. Man, one of the guys who stays sell. Yeah. Oh, really? They sell. But it's like... Uh, they have to endure some... It's not the same then. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's not as enjoyable as doing it no, on a nice no, day. No, no ideas. Yeah, it's yeah. not like this at all. It's perfect. Um, is a lot of your business tourists or is it a mix of locals? Pretty much a mix because uh, yeah. then the people really support handmade work. Oh, good. Okay, they love yeah. the things here that are unique. Mm -hmm. They yeah. cannot buy in the stores because it's full of stores outside or Etsy or yeah. you know, any Whatever. other mm -hmm. place you can buy jewelry. Yeah. But when it's uh, with their, their designs so or with uh, personal design, they love more when it's like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, specifically yeah. like this. Um, Overall, what is your opinion of Christiana? Christiana is a place you want to start with one um, being like a hippie town, free mm -hmm. town, and still conserve some of the rules and some of the old, uh, how do you say, habits, we mm -hmm. can say. Yeah. Turn, uh, change a lot, but in the last 10 years, I can say, no? Change yeah. a lot. But it's still a cozy place, still mm -hmm. a warm place, it's still a lovely place to be. Yeah. And yeah, unique. It's very unique. It's pretty much. It's, very... it's the first uh, hippie community in, in Europe, I can say. It's yeah. One. When the Second World End, that wa this was an uh, old German yeah. In, uh, embassy. Yeah, that's uh, what I... Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, so yeah. The, the, the soldiers run away and the mm -hmm. hippies come in. It's unique, man. It this is, is. Okay, this is... <laughs> where, you where can't else? find where this. Else? No, 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 no. Yeah, never just been the, anywhere like the, this. the beginning of the thing is mm -hmm. like this, so... Yeah. Keep being a beautiful place for me, at least. Yeah. Like, I'm happy that my kid grown up in mm -hmm. a place like this. But it's free. I yeah. Mean, I mean free, man. It's yeah, like, yeah. Back there is the skate park. And I know, I I'm selling on this size and I don't afraid about him go alone for the skate park yeah. or go to buy an ice cream and mm -hmm. two blocks from here and yeah. when he was now with his 11 almost 11 when he was three or four years old he is in the same way though playing around mm -hmm. walking coming and going yeah. And, and yeah we, many times we was walking in the street and they say hi for kuru and not for me for my son, uh, say hey, Kuru. <laughs> and I He's popular him, around here. Yeah, town. I don't know what I say, man. From where? It's from Pisenia. <laughs> of course. It's uh, like, yeah. I remember one great. summer they make a Amigo Numero Uno t shirt for him because he speaks Spanish, Danish, and English. Mm -hmm. But he prefers wow. Spanish all the time. Yeah. So they call Amigo for everybody. Hey, Amigo. The whole yeah, time, yeah. you know what I mean? So they call him back Amigo. Oh. They realize the amigo means friend. Yeah. It's, oh man, you're the amigo number one. <laughs> and, they, and they make it, the skate park. That's make, so cute. This fake skate park making an amigo number oh, one t-shirt. That's so sweet. And when they make, they celebrate, I don't remember how many years, like 10 years from the skate park, wow. they make a poster. Mm -hmm. And they, Albert, one of the biggest guy there in the skate park, if it's not the biggest. Yeah. He's like the best or he's just big in size no he's the the one who come with the idea create the thing mm. build the thing can mm -hmm. support the thing oh, okay okay yeah yeah it's not the owner because it's not like it's not like that yeah you know what yeah I, mean? I know what you mean even if you ask him he will say no 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 i don't own no yeah. anything yeah yeah then he make a poster commemorated 10 years and he have a picture about kuru and a, and a, and a skater, but mm -hmm. he was two years old, so he don't step. He was in the, in the, <laughs> in the knees, and he said, "Come, I will show you something." Yeah, there, oh, there is Kuru. That's oh, so man. sweet. And I said, "Man, this is more local than me, and it's two years yeah. old." <laughs> he's gonna do just fine. Yeah, now he's, he's... ten years old, and here's a local boy yeah. here. So like, I'm, I'm, I'm real Danish. He's already got his connections. Christianita, they call it here. Oh. The people from Christiania, they're Christianitas. Christianitas. I love that. He's a Christianita. Yeah, it's like a, it was easy for him. Danish, grown up here, start yeah. to walk, talk, everything here, you know. So it's his so house. Sweet. Yeah. What I can say. Yeah, it's his home. It's his home. Um, and then the last question is do you last think. Last question. Last question. Okay, okay. Do you think Christiana is an inspiring place? 
Xenia is in a really good, inspiring place for many people, artists, mm -hmm. and other societies, I can say, because it's a lot of different things in a really tiny place without have that much fights. Mm -hmm. Or people yelling or complaining or discussing about the things. It's a really cosmopolitan, mm -hmm. yeah. tiny place, you know what I mean? It's like everybody happy with everybody, everybody mm -hmm. doing respect what they always do. Yeah. I don't know if that gives inspiration for maybe not for the normal society. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe for for small alternative places they want the the one they want to grow. Mm -hmm. For that one. Yeah. It is that's understand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay.